Hello, you awesome admin! Have you ever found yourself struggling to find your reports or your dashboards in the current experience available in Lightning? Well, did you know that there is a new beta analytics experience that unifies your reports, your dashboards, and all of your folders in one easy-to-use interface? Well, let's check it out. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, so here we are in setup, and I want to show you how to enable this new setting. So we're going to scroll down to Platform Tools and Setup. We'll select Feature Settings, and now I'm going to select Analytics, then Reports and Dashboards, and if you scroll down to the bottom here, it says Reports and Dashboards Settings. So we'll select that option. And you can see here that at the very bottom of the Report and Dashboard User Interface Settings page, I have a new section called Unified Analytics Home. And if you haven't enabled this, you'll see that the checkbox is deselected. So all you gotta do is click that box to select it, and that will enable the unified experience for Analytics Home once you save it. There's a little bit of information here telling you that this is currently a beta um, and uh, you can access reports and dashboards uh, with the new analytics tab. So once you click save, great. Now you'll be able to search for analytics right here from the app launcher. So let's take a look at what analytics home looks like. So the experience is very different from the reports tab or the dashboards tab. First, you can see that I've got a really nice search bar, and this search bar allows me to search across reports, dashboards, and folders, and I also have a convenient Create button. So I can click this button, and I can create a report, a folder, or a dashboard immediately from this experience, which is nice. I can also search. So let's say I want to search for the term West Coast. Now, West Coast uh, will be searched across all items, reports, dashboards, folders, um, and I can also filter on that, right? So we can see here that uh, this is a lightning report folder, but I could select dashboards, and I can see that there are no West Coast dashboards, right? So the search here is pretty improved, especially if you've got lots and lots of folders. Now let's explore what we have here in the For You section. So you can see reports that I have recently updated, and this also includes reports, dashboards, and folders. Reports, dashboards, and folders that have been shared with me, or reports, dashboards, and folders that I've created. I can see uh, a short list of recent items, or I can view all. And if I scroll down, you'll see here that I've got the My Analytics pane that shows me all of my recents, as well as all of my favorites. Now, if I wanted to filter this view, I can use the Browse sidebar, so I can click All Items, and here uh, I've got subtabs for All Items, for Lightning Dashboards, for Reports, for Lightning Report Folders, or for Lightning Dashboard Folders. Favorites are available in a single click. I can also look at what I've created and what has been shared with me. So let's go ahead and create a report and see what it's like. So here we'll create a report. Uh, let's create an account report. I'll click Start Report, and boom, I'm right in Report Builder. And if I wanted to revert back to home, all I have to do is click Home in the upper left-hand corner, and I'm right back here at home. The same thing would be true if I wanted to create a dashboard. I can give my dashboard a name. We can call this the Did You Know Dashboard, and we'll give it the same description, Did You Know Dashboard. Okay, so here's my dashboard, and again, I could add a component very easily, or if I wanted to navigate back to home, I can click home. So as you can see, we've got one unified experience for all of our core analytics reports, dashboards, report folders, and dashboard folders, all in a single place. Remember, this is a beta feature. So that means if you enable it, you accept the fact that we're still constantly accepting feedback about this product, and there may be some features or functionality that you don't see here that you'd like to see. However, when you enable it, nothing stops you from going back to your reports tab or your dashboards tab. It's very, very easy to access those tabs, even if you have the analytics tab uh, activated. All right, that concludes this episode of Did You Know? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited that I had you here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Awesome, man.